Okay, so what what have you learned? You know, you talked about coming from Google PPC and that's kind of the ground here. What, you know, versus 2018, fast forward to 2023, what what are some old policies that have kind of like come up and have changed within PPC? Because I know there's a lot of my people that have been around for a while and maybe they haven't messed with, with ad campaigns just yet and those types of things. So what have you seen something as a shift into what was old and now is new? Yeah, I'd say from old, like, you know, being on the platform before they had that beautiful graph and having to download sheets and like do it that way was terribly painful. So in terms of um, like fundamentally, it always works the same. Like it's a I think it's a second price auction PPC system. So you pay uh, one cent more than the last bidder uh, effectively works the same in terms of like keyword harvesting, doing bid adjustments based on CPC. Uh, negating terms inside campaigns to kind of get around that from uh, so from like the the fundamentals it's it's always kind of the same what's really interesting and like how it's evolved over time is become more of a full funnel experience so it's it's about building audiences and touching customers at different stages of their journey and everything from like manage your customer experience and the email marketing that they've incorporated amazon post and i think spire their social media s type platform, Amazon Live, uh, where you got a bunch of brands in like the Amazon uh, creator connections programs or ability to work with Amazon associates on a commission basis to have them promote their products of our brands on their social. And even programmatically like uh, DSP, uh, building audiences and building, you know, using streaming TV and connected devices to uh, get the multi you know, the multi-channel experience and touching them on their mobile devices, their whoever they're sharing the accounts with on their desktop. So what we what has evolved, it used to be like Amazon was just the bottom of the funnel. Catch your customers as they're searching for your product and they're in market. Now it's their ability to expose brands to shoppers before they know they have this problem or have mm-hmm. shown intent or some type of context that this product might solve a solution. So we have the ability to build these audiences and and grow like grow Amazon only brands. And it's it's a really the evolution has been crazy, as I'm sure you can relate, Kristen. Yeah, that's what I think is the biggest opportunity right now on Amazon is the, the that they've opened up the floodgates. I mean, years ago, I'm I'm old school. I've been on Amazon since 2008, you know, and then they're, they're for, for so many years, you were like blacklisted if you tried to reach out to a customer. Amazon oh, yeah. owned the customer. Mm-hmm. Now, they still like to control the customer, but they're giving us more access as brands to directly reach our customers, even though we could be like Amazon only brands and i love what you said there about amazon only brands because so many people over the years have asked me oh do you have your own brand do you have this and that and i'm like yeah i said but i really only sell on amazon i'm no in, i'm not interested in going to target or these other places because i can reach so many more customers with my brand on amazon alone without even having like i don't even have a shopify store why i don't need to i use amazon why because they reach more customers than i could ever do on my own so i love that you said amazon only brands because because so many more opportunities are available now for people to release a brand or launch a brand on Amazon and not have to be everywhere with all the things all the time because they're allowing us to start, they're starting to allow us to gather and keep our own customers and uh, sell things to them and maybe indirectly still because we're using yeah. Amazon's platform. But before it was such a hush hush, not allowed. You couldn't reach out to your customers. You couldn't email them. You couldn't build a yeah. list based on what they were purchasing. And so now that that's incorporating and changing, I feel like the floodgates are open to build really solid brands. Amen. Preach, Krista. That's what I'm (laughs) saying. And you hit on the head, like 50% of e-commerce happens on Amazon. And now with Shopify, the MCF feature, the buy with prime, like they're just encroaching and taking more of that e-commerce market share. So like, you know, why mess around? Just just get in with the with it while you can. 